Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, I hope you're having an amazing holiday season and I hope you enjoyed a really, really wonderful Christmas. The holidays are such a magical time and they're my favourite time of the year. Now, of course, the holidays are amazing, but for some, they are difficult times. They're times where they seem to bring a mixture of emotions. Now, this year, I had an absent family member. I lost my grandmother back in May. So this year, she was absent from the Christmas, which really did make a huge difference. Now, you think, well, obviously. And yes, absolutely. Even when somebody is suffering, their presence being gone is a huge loss. And this year I've really, really felt that. And it's strange to think that this is how it's going to be going forward. It really, really is. Now you may think, why am I doing this mid Christmas? Well, Christmas, Christmas provides an opportunity of reflection. And I don't know about anybody else, but it's a time where it gives you that wake up of, of where you want your life to go. A new year doesn't necessarily mean that you have to change. I often, I, I often think this, that when people make New Year's resolutions, you don't need a new year to make change. You can make change whenever. You can make change to your career. You can make change to your finances, to your life, to the path of where you want to go in life. It doesn't have to be a new year at all. Now, when I lost my grandmother, I found a huge sense of direction that if somebody that beautiful, that incredible, and that amazing of a person went out of this world the way my grandmother did, it really did make me question that why do I worry about the small things? So I think Christmas quite magically, number one, it is magical. Number two, it brings emotions which you don't necessarily understand or know what to do with. So for me, this Christmas, I have really very much enjoyed. It's been it's been very different without my nan and it's been difficult. It's certainly been difficult at times. But so far it's been absolutely it's been really, really great. It's been amazing. It's been amazing to spend time with family. We had a very, very incredible Christmas Day. Boxing Day was really, really wonderful. And I've seen family and it's been very, very busy this week. So it's nice just to take a film, uh, take a moment to watch a really nice film and to have a glass of something nice and a few sort of luxuries and just enjoy the season. It really, really is. But it's in those moments when I find that I'm on my own and I'm, and it's those quieter times of an evening where I find that all the memories from Christmases long ago when I used to spend them with my, my grandmother, I used to spend a lot of time and she was always centre of Christmas. So she was at everybody's and I used to spend a lot of time with my nan. Um, and her being absent from this Christmas is really, really very difficult. It really is. It, it makes me feel very, very hurt, very upset, very sad. But I also try to think that, that my nan had Alzheimer's, but she was very, very strong. And she, it, it was almost like that it never really affected Nan, but it wasn't until that she passed away when I actually realised just how much of a struggle things were becoming. My Nan on the outside always looked my Nan. She was an incredible, glamorous lady. When my Nan walked in a room, you would think she was a film star. And to me, she was, and to all of us, she was. But you know what? I think, I don't know kind of with this, but Christmas, provides an opportunity of reflection. Now for me, my nan is an inspiration to my life and Christmas is giving me that grounding to reflect on everything. And it makes me think, and it gives me a few worries to think that actually, what do I want to do in the year going forward? So I know what I want to do going forward. I want to finish all my studying. This year, 2022, I want to finish all my studying. So I'm studying in accountancy and I'm 28, but my studying was put on hold because of ill health and operations and one thing and another. So in my mind, I'm 24, kind of, because I was always, this is where it all started. And for the last four years, I've had nothing but health problems and it's been a really, really tough time. But that doesn't mean to say, I mean, number one, age means absolutely nothing at all. So if you're sat there and you're wondering and you're feeling down about your age, it is only a number, whether you're in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and even my nan at 95. Wow, incredible lady. And of course, I don't have her anymore. And that tells us, that really does give us that, that 
inspiration and that drive to think that not one of us is promised a tomorrow. So just because you have grandparents of a certain age, or you have children, or you have adults, or you have members of your family who are not well, that does not mean that they will be there, sadly, for a lifetime. It does not mean that any one of us will be there for tomorrow, let alone for months and months and years on end. So this Christmas, there is still time to enjoy it, grasp it with both hands. But for me, it it provides that reflection. So if you look back at your year and you're thinking and you think, actually, I never really I never really spent as much time with family as much as I wanted to. Now that's not me, but you may think that. Make that your thing to do this year. If you're sat and you're thinking, I'm really miserable in my job and I'm really, really not looking forward to returning back, make that your thing. Make that your thing to turn this year, this new year around. Now, bearing in mind, going back to what I said, this doesn't have to be right now. You may think to yourself, I'm okay for now. I'm going to give myself a couple of months. I'm going to step down from the Christmas mode. I'm going to really just concentrate. I'm going to start to get some money in. I'm going to start to just enjoy life a little bit more. Come the summer, you may then find that the reflection through Christmas and the early months of the year really put you on the track to what you want to do. Reflection doesn't just happen, but Christmas, I believe, magically makes it appear. It kind of gets you, I think it's that where you have the family together, where you have those wonderful, wonderful moments where you would love to treasure and hold on to a lifetime, but they're there for a day or for a couple of minutes or for an hour, and that's why they're so special. But it really does provide us with that incredible opportunity to reflect, and it gives us that real gift, not just the presence around the tree, but that real gift to be able to listen to that reflection. And to be able to think that actually going forward, this is what I want to do. This is where I'm going to be. And you know what? For me, it's to complete all of my studying this year, to get that out of the way, to be where I want to be um, in my career study wise. I want to put that to bed. I want to completely finish my studying this year. So that's what I want to do. Number two, I want to take life as it is in the spur of the moment. Now, when I say that, you may think, what an odd thing to say. All throughout 2021, I kept a diary. Now, keeping a diary is great. Keeping things written down is great. It really, really is. It gives you clarity. It helps you keep a clear mind. But if you're anything like me, I obsess. I obsess, I truly do, and I turned it into an obsession. So every day I was capturing every single moment. Now, it is in that moment when you're trying to capture everything that you miss out on the small things. For example, I could be at my desk writing and writing and writing. Downstairs, one of my brothers have popped in. Everybody's laughing and joking downstairs. I've missed that moment, which could be treasured by the rest of my family the rest of their life. Sometimes doing these things, which we often get, we get taken over by, can often cause a great wonder to us, and it can be a treasure to us, but it can also be at the detriment of many other things as well, of actually just enjoying life. That's what I always say, when somebody goes on holiday and they're taking pictures, or, they're, or they go to a show or a concert or a theatre production, and they're, and, they're, and they're doing it through their camera, they're doing it for a video the whole time, enjoy the moment. It's like Christmas. Enjoy every second of it. Don't try and capture it, written it down, and writing it down. Don't try and capture it in photographs. Yes, of course, your picture is lovely. Absolutely. To treasure and cherish. But don't go over the top. Bring it in. Enjoy it. So that's what I want to do this year. I want to enjoy life for what it is. And I don't want to control it so much. I don't want to try to control it. And I certainly don't want to try and capture it in an A4 piece of paper when I could be enjoying it. And I could be enjoying that path. My third thing is enjoy the journey of where I want to be. So that end goal can be absolutely, yeah, it can be brilliant. And I say this a lot on my channel, fantastic. But don't forget to enjoy the journey along the way. And that's what myself and my twin brother really need to concentrate and work on as well. So that's what, so let's recap. So finish the studying. Number two is to take life as what it is and to enjoy the moments and try not to capture it and enjoy the journey along the way. Okay, so I think that's enough. But my message to you is that enjoy this season. Take a moment because Christmas so magically offers us that opportunity of reflection, which in the end just makes everything that little bit more special, that little bit more greater. It gives us that clarity to actually be able to sort of filter through our lives, to concentrate on the, the good things, to make the things even the better things, even better in our life. And just sort of filter through on those worries, those stresses and things. 
Christmas, of course, can bring a mixture of emotions. Sadness, happiness, love, joy. Wonderful things happen, even up to the new year and the days that follow. January often can seem bleak for a lot of people, but I'm going to leave you with this notion. It's an incredible saying I heard many years ago. Don't be sad that it's over. Smile because it happened. And on that note, time I see you again, it will be the new year. So I wish you a very, very happy Christmas for the rest of the days which are left and a very, very happy, prosperous, merry and bright new year. God bless. I'll be seeing you real soon. And we've got lots to look forward to on my channel. Thank you very much for joining me on this festive day. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.